The funeral of six-month-old Angelina Zwani has reignited black passions and highlighted South Africa's lingering legacy of apartheid. Angelina was killed with a bullet to the head when she and other children were fired on by white farmer Nicholas Stain as they walked home across his land. Addressing the mourners, Winnie Madikizela Mandela characteristically pulled no punches in emphasizing the racist nature of the crime. You told me that Nicholas had been brandishing his guns daily, spatting and frothing on his grounds, shouting he did not want any more kathas on his land. This latest incident of apparently racially motivated violence by farmers against laborers has given Madikizela Mandela and others cause to question the state of the nation four years after the ANC government came to power. In South Africa, Angelina wasn't the only one with something to lose. The presence at the funeral of politicians from all the major parties was a reminder that the race to score points in the run-up to the country's second democratic elections next year has begun. Her tombstone said the nation will remember you. The question is how the nation will remember the brutality of her death.